this is Itolari's 72nd scale SU-34 fullback strike flanker. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Alright, so, um, after I bought this, I realized that Tamiya has a reboxing of this kit that is uh, a little bit cheaper. I got this used, it's kind of, the box is kind of beat up, but... You know, I kind of like this box because the Tamiya re the reboxings of their Itolari kits are pretty. Um, uh, they 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 lack the imagination like this one does. You know, this has like really beautiful artwork. Uh, the Tamiya they just have a picture of the completed model, and it's, and it's pretty basically built too. On top of that, so. Whatever. So anyhow, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get started with this, huh? All right. So let me re reposition this here. Okay. So um, one thing that I'll point out is the cockpit is pretty basic. It's it's actually kind of disappointing. So like I, I just assembled the. Right, I'm gonna zoom in here actually. So I get to do that now. You gonna focus, pal? There we go. So I built up this it the seat here just to give you an idea what it's like, I guess. So I don't I don't get what's going on here unless it's uh I don't get that. What does that, what does that do? <clears throat> Maybe it just goes like this, I guess. I don't know. But the instrumentation, I mean, you got some detail on that. It's just not too bad, I suppose. Um, it's not the greatest, though. The seat's kind of, it's it's all, it's okay. I mean, you get, it gets the, the basic shape down, but that's pretty much it. So I do have, this is a resin replacement, and look, this is like, Totally different. The level of detail, <clears throat> the level of detail in this is just incredible. So what am I looking at here? Well, let me get it out for you. The and I ordered this from Pavla Models, and they have their own company that they sell with, I forget what they're called, I ordered it straight from Czech, and I realized later that I could have possibly bought this off of a Hobby Link Japan instead. Anyhow, um, here you have the, inst the instructions on what to do with this. So this kit comes with the cockpit, as you see here. <clears throat> I have him, all the pieces in a baggie here. All right, so the uh, instrumentation panel that is a lot better detailed than the original. And I'm, I'll try to find the original so I can do a comparison. But I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cutting to get that to match up properly, I suppose. Okay, yeah, here we go. So here's the instrumentation that the kit comes with. And it's so-so. Oh, where the hell is it? Here it is. Okay. So here's the instrumentation. And then here's the resin instrumentation. Way nicer. Way better detailed, okay. <clears throat> and this is cool because this is like a uh, overhead, like um, like the the top of the canopy that this goes onto. You got some switches and buttons, and that's really nice. Have to kind of have to hack off all of that. Um, comes with a couple of uh, really nicely detailed flight yolks. 
Oops, you can't see that. Here you go. Here are the flight yolks. Flight, flight yolks, not yolk. Well, yolks from an egg. <laughs> you get a refueling rod if you want to do that. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. And the seats. So the seats have molded straps. They got the seat belts and everything. So let's just take a look at the, the difference here. That's fantastic. Way nicer. Way cooler. Um, I guess... The, so there's like a like a pull ring, right? And I think that's what this is. I'm gonna have to maybe try to drill into that a little bit, maybe. Or maybe get some wire, snip this off, and then replace it with the wire, maybe. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that later. But for the most part, this is pretty nicely detailed. So that is it for the resin. Since I mentioned before, this is a used kit. And after I got it, I realized that the, the decal sheet's pretty crappy. I had seen better days, and it's really not that extensive at all. So I'm probably going to end up not using this. <clears throat> um, I got... I might use some of these maybe later on perhaps, but uh, maybe not with this build. So yeah, I could have gotten this this a lot cheaper as a Tamiya kit, but you know, that was after the fact. So I also have, this is by the Masking Hanbai, and you've seen me using their stuff in other previous videos. They have uh, the Itulari kits that have been Re reboxed by Tamiya, and that's what this is here. So I, I have uh, two of these maskings, and I'm, I'm going to just use one, but I'll hold on to this other one. Okay, so as for the kit itself, externally it's it's really nice. the 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 panel lines are really great. Um, really can't complain. Uh, I've only just done a dry fit. with these parts here and it seems to come together just fine uh, da, 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 da. now this I'm gonna have this uh, with the landing gear down uh, this airplane pilots enter there's like a ladder that comes down through the, the landing gear bay and then they enter through like the little door that you see in the back of the cockpit here so yeah, the door alone on this resin looks so much better. This just gives you just like the most basic idea of what a door might be, just an impression of a door. But this one, you get like a roll, and you got the latch on the door. It looks really freaking cool. Uh, the thing is though, is I need to get started. Well, I've already started on it actually. I need to saw this off so that it's gonna fit in the kit. And to do so, let me put this other, these other pieces away. Now I don't want to use my rotary tool. I'm just going to just use some elbow grease. And I got my, my Tamiya hacksaw here. And I've already started working on this a lot. If I use my rotary tool, I'm going to have dust flying around, and I don't want to inhale any resin dust, and I don't feel like wearing my mask. So I'm just going to do it like this. And then wash my hands off real well afterwards. Or I might even use them, my gloves, I guess, at least on this hand. So anyhow, I'm going to get started with that now. So this is cut off. So what you have to do if you use this resin, you have to cut it all the way flat, all the way to this here. But you got to be careful though because it is pretty. It gets pretty thin here in the middle. Okay, it goes up like it's pretty thin in the middle here. Just be careful. Uh, I just use my hacksaw all the way down. I couldn't get like the very very tail end, but. 
I just used my side cutters and removed a bunch of the the extra stuff that way. So this fits. There's like a little lip here. It fits on top of that. It fits in front of that lip. Okay. So right there. There. There you go. Nice. So yeah, this Pavla Models resin kit. Uh, it even says right here it's for the Utilary kit. Specifically made for this kit. Uh, there is a 70 second scale trumpeter fullback SU-34. Don't know what that's like. I watched a video of it, but um, this resin is pretty darn cool. And the armament that this comes with, this kit, is pretty nice too. So we'll see that later on, but um, that is now fitting. Great, great news. I'm busy putting the missiles together here. I just thought I could just get a whole bunch of this stuff done real quick. And just leave the cockpit stuff alone because I'm not in a... Uh, I'm not able to really get my airbrush and all that kind of stuff at the moment. Okay. I'm using the black cement. It's pretty cool. It shows you where the cement has gone. There. So I have three of these. Really cool. Let me zoom in here. Do this, this large, I think it's like a cluster bomb or something. I don't know. So, this is the thin, so I gotta act fast here. Just want to get it in the holes here. And then, once that's made contact. Extra thin cement for sure. Get it along the edges here. Okay. There. So that's how it goes, apparently. Um, let's see if I can get some glue in there. Cool. 
Next. All right, I'm just going to do it this straight. There. Okay. Push that into place. Okay, great. We're gonna put some down here. Okay. Great. Cool. All right, I got another one to do. But they yeah, that's how they come together. The central boom structure here in the back of the plane. This is like where the parachute it comes out and such. There we go. So I'm going to run. stuff through here like so there we go and it doesn't look like there's any sort of like up or down to this thing it just seems to just kind of just go wherever I do need to re remove some of the stuff though there we go mm. Okay. Well, I guess this is how it's going to go. Okay. Alright, that's it. Okay, I'm running out of things to do, so I, I, I probably need to get started on the cockpit pretty soon. <laughs> so after doing a bit of a check, uh, apparently this video you're watching now is apparently going to be the first step-by-step -step build of this Italeri fullback kit. I, I saw like maybe a, a video or two of you know people showcasing their, their their completed models, but nothing showing like the actual step by step process. So I hope you enjoy this kit build, even if I don't do everything properly. At least you can learn from my mistakes. Now I just use my uh, my hacksaw here to get started on this. Now this resin piece was like rather long, if I remember right. I had to like cut it down to size, but. I don't, maybe it, I didn't have to do that because I think this whole surface is going to be glued to the underside of this, but whatever. Anyhow, this part has to go, it has to get out of the way. I'm going to have to get rid of this. This size down. Okay. All right. Now let's just get an idea of what this is like here. Alright, now, 
what I'm going to do is switch this out and put back in the regular blade. Drop my thingy on the floor here. Okay. Let's just carefully cut this out. And all this crap needs to get out of here. All right. There we go. Let's take this out. Oh, wouldn't you know? That looks fantastic. Now, my cutting is a little bit sloppy, I suppose, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. I might have to fill in a little bit, but this looks great. This looks pretty darn great, I think. Now, do I want to just glue this in right now? I don't think so, because I want to... Well, first I need to paint this stuff, right? But I need to maybe work on the instrumentation a little bit here, because there is no, no decals for this. I just have to paint it all by hand, and it would be a lot easier to do so before I put this in place. But that does look pretty nice. I think it looks pretty darn nice. Um, we just do a little bit more modification, but uh, this is pretty cool. I'm happy about that. So yeah, that's what you're gonna have to do. Now, uh, uh, there's no real instructions that came with this this resin set, but it looked like I don't know. I think there was like like a long part after this that I would have to just cut out this entire channel and then stick it in here. I think I, I really can't remember what the piece looked like but um, I'm just looking at it the way it looks now and um, this, is, this is the best I'm gonna do but yeah I'm pretty sure that I should have had to just remove this entire thing here this this little uh, gutter this alley or whatever you would call it this uh, little recessed area and that this long piece would have just stuck right here I think but I don't know. Uh, I've had this for like uh, several months now, and I got kind of a little bit curious and you know, started hacking this away, and now I kind of regret doing that because, oh well. But in the end, maybe it doesn't matter, because there's going to be plenty of gluing surface right here. So that's, that's all right. So, but yeah, there you go. That's cool. Yeah. Yay. Oh, the, there's the gun. <laughs> I just noticed that. Bang. I'll leave you with this, is that, you know, uh, as a society... Uh, Alright, so this ejection seat system came system off just fine. I'm going to try to do this one as well. Uh, so no what I did, I didn't use my rotary tool and, you know, sending a resin dust everywhere. I'm just clipping us off with my clippers here. Okay. And let me just get this. Wow, that went flying, but it was a clean, clean cut. So that's great. What else we got? Yeah. All right. This one, I think I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful with. Let me first cut here. Oh, shit. 
All right, so that was a bad idea. That was indeed a bad idea, as you can see. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to use my rotary tool after all. And I'm gonna have to glue this together now. That kind of sucked. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna have to do my, my rotary tour. After all, wasn't looking forward to that. I was hoping to avoid that. I'm gonna get that ready. I'm gonna have to wear my mask now. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I have to glue these parts together. But, I also have to clean that up a little bit more though. Okay, I think I got it. Hmm, it's nice to see snow. Very thin detail, that's for sure. I'll have to be more careful with resin. In the future, definitely. Alright, this is going to have to get glued together. Like so. Let's 
unfortunately. Let's see the CA blue right here. Now I'm getting it dirty actually. Got resin dust. Don't lick your fingers. Interior. Now, with the uh, SU-33 flanker I had done, uh, the instructions called for Mr. Color 74, Air Superiority Blue. However, there is a better color. This is a newer color. This is Mr. Color 392, and this is Interior Blue, Soviet color. So, uh, as you can see, it's there's similar colors, but this one is a bit deeper. It's really, really fantastic. So, I'm going to be using this color. That is a very nice color. I've cut this little wire here. Um, I'm gonna try to simulate something I, I've seen in a, a photo I, I took, a freeze frame of a fullback SU-34 video on YouTube. So this is the 0.45 millimeter stainless uh, wire here. And what I wanna do, 
is I'm drill a hole right here. All right, I don't want to go too deep. Let's take a look at this. Okay, do a little bit more. All right, I don't want to go too deep. Now, okay. Come on. Okay, come on, people. Come on! Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, alright, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. It's gonna glue. Okay. And it's not working. <laughs> Shoot, okay. Oh, I use my decal tweezers, maybe it holds it better. Okay. Hmm. All right. Now what I'm gonna do? Okay. Just uh, sop up the uh, excess there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Now this is setting. And then... Let's see if I can... removed. Okay, great. There's probably no reason for me to do this, but I just figured I can add a little bit more detail into this because it's it's already so full of detail, but I figured, you know what? Maybe I'll just do a little bit more. What the hey? What the hey? So, uh, I'm going to reach over 
I get some metal primer. Mr. Metal Primer. drawing I just so happen to have where is it I had some leftover cockpit color let me find it real quick hold on all right now this is kind of thinned out for the air the airbrush so I don't know if it's gonna work very well hmm All right, I suppose. So, looking at some reference photos, I've noticed there's a bit of green on the inside of the interior. What I have done is just use some. Oh gosh, what was this? Like a two millimeter? Yeah, two millimeter masking. Here, I got that on both sides. All I'm gonna do is just paint this. So I've just got some interior green here. Uh, it looks like it's it's a pretty much a close match, I suppose. And this is like some sort of canvas or something rather. On the inside, some sort of cloth. Okay. Okay, so I'll just wait for this to dry and then uh, do a, a dry fit, see how it looks. Moving on back to these ejector seats. Uh, the colors are pretty much wrong, I think. I'm going to have to do this black, and this is going to be like a gray on the inside here. Uh, what I want to do is open up the ejector seat pull ring. So I got a 0.8 pin vise drill bit. I'm just very, very gently drilling into this piece here. I don't want to force it. I don't want that little delicate little piece of resin to, to bust off, right? Not yet. There we go. Okay. There. 
Oh, cool. Look at that. Got a nice hole right there. Is this going to... Oh, there we go. Now it auto-focused. That looks pretty nice. There. Great. So I did it to the other one as well already. This is pretty nice. Okay, so... Um, I think I might end this video here. Next I'm going to be working on painting up the instrumentation. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be slowly working on this here and there. And uh, so expect a, an update whenever I feel like making a next update, I guess. <laughs> Bye.